Hello everyone. In this video, we will talk about how to use variables, data types and comments in C++. So, I already have Replit open and the file ready. What do I do? Well, this is an empty file, so what I should do first is mention include iostream. And of course, iostream is between angular brackets. And then we have to put using namespace std. And then int main, the opening and closing round brackets, and then opening and closing angled brackets. Now that we have our base ready, what do we do? Well, if you want to assign an integer variable, then in Python, and C++, they're both different. So in Python, what you do is specify the name and set it equal to whatever value you want. But in C++, it doesn't work like that. In C++, along with the name, the equals operator, and the value, you have to mention the data type, what the variable is going to contain, and then the semicolon. It will end the statement. So we start with int, if we want a number, and then the variable name, let's say to the number, equal to some number, let's say 5, and then end the statement with a semicolon. Note that int stands for integer. It is meant for storing numbers that are whole numbers or integer numbers, that is numbers that don't have a decimal range. The abbreviation for integer is int, by the way. Okay, let's see the output. So, count, angle brackets, number, angle brackets, and enter. You see that? We have the number 5. Now, let's say we wanted a decimal value or a double value. Luckily, it's just as same as integers, so double number, uh, not number, uh, let's say decimal equals 5.5. Let's print this out as well. You see that? Along with our previous variable number, we also got our decimal variable. Now, actually, in C++, you have noticed we use the double data type. In C++, there are two data types corresponding to decimals, whereas in Python, there's only one. So apart from the double data type, there is the float data type. So let's run this. As you can see, it gives the same output. Let's switch it back. Okay. Now let's say we wanted strings. How do we do that? Well, unlike Python and other languages, in C++, to use strings, well, use strings properly, that is, you need to include a library. What is that library called? Funnily enough, it's called string. So include string. This isn't absolutely necessary. However, if you want some added functionality for strings, it's better to just include the library. So let's create a new variable. String text equals to, let's say, 5. And by 5, I mean the word 5. Now let's print this. Out angle brackets text and then five. You see that? Now just like in Python, the operations on variables in C is the same. So let's say I wanted to multiply the variable number with uh, I don't know, 
5. So what would I do? Well, we set up the count statement. And between the angle brackets, the two pairs of angle brackets, we keep number into 5. Let's run this. As you can see, it gives 25. 5 into 5 is 25. The same can be done with other operations. So let's do subtraction number minus 5. Addition number plus 5. And division. number divided by 5. And you may also remember the modulus operator which takes the remainder of a division. Well, it works here in C++ as well. Number modular divided by 5 into the brackets and division. Let's run this. There you go. Now actually, I'll keep an extra out statement here. Okay, you see that? 25, 0, no, 5 minus 5, 10, 5 plus 5, 1, 5 divided by 5, and 0. 5 modulo divided by 5. There's no remainder, so the remainder is 0. However, unlike Python, multiplying a string with a number doesn't work. In Python, multiplying a string with a number, well, usually you'll just get that string those number of times. But in C++, it doesn't work like that. So if I do, for example, text into 5, and if I run it, in Python it will give the word 5 several times. It doesn't work. As you can see, it gives us an error. And even before it does all the other stuff, you notice that it will just directly say this error. This is because unlike Python, C++ first compiles and then runs. It means I will first check for errors and then, if there's no errors, do whatever it was told to do. In this case, when it checked for errors, it found that text cannot be multiplied with 5. We're trying to multiply a string with an integer. And so you get the error. If you want a text to come 5 times or some number of times, you'll have to use a for loop to either add that string to itself those many times or to just simply print it those many times. In fact, the only operation that actually works with strings universally with any programming language is the addition operator, which simply just concatenates text with other text. Swimming. You see that? I combine 5 with whatever I type. Now, just like Python, we also have the ability to multiply with compatible data types, which means even though number is not int is not compatible with string, int is compatible with double. Oh, I had type. As you can see, there's no compile time error, and as you can see, we get the output, 27.5. If you want to check, 5.5 into 5 is 27.5. Okay, so that's how you use data types and variables, but let's say you have this code, and you want to comment it, as in add comments to describe your code. Then what do you do? 
In Python, what we do is we use the hashtag symbol or the numbers symbol. But for C++, it's different. Instead of the number symbol, we use two forward slashes. So let's say I want to comment on this first line saying that we are defining a number here, an integer. I'll just put two forward slashes and then type whatever I want to type. As you can see, I kept the comment defining an integer variable named number set to 5. Now, just like Python or any other language, C will ignore statements that are set as comments. However, the commenting statement is different for each language. But for C and a few other languages, the forward slashes are common. As you can see, the statement was not used anywhere because it is now a comment. And you can add as many comments as you want. If you want multi line comments, what you do is first enter forward slash and then asterisk star. Hmm, it's not working for me for some reason. Ah, yes. So now you have a multi line comment. And then you can enter whatever you want to enter. Defining several variables and using them for different operations. Now, technically, you can put this on a single line common, but this is just an example. So, this is how you use variables, data types, data types, and comments in C++. So thank you for watching this video and I hope you enjoyed it. Thank you.